Hey guys, it's Debbie from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here today with a get ready with me using our neglected makeup that we have been pulling in our community project pan and weekly makeup basket. I also give a little life update, talk about YouTube, the beauty community, all that good stuff. We just kind of like dive in, just, like just a little bit. So if this sounds like something you'd like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Alright, we're doing neglected makeup. I really appreciate you guys following along with this uh, neglected makeup month of community project pan slash makeup basket. So I just got out of the shower. I am wearing this dress. And I thought I would film a get ready with me for you guys because it's been a while. And also I wanted to show you these products in action since we've been talking about them for so long. Um, so I was about to put my makeup on and thought, why don't we just do it now? Typically I wear my pajamas when I do my makeup. So hopefully nothing spills. But I am working from home today and... I have about 40 minutes before I need to take a phone call and I like working in dresses when I'm at home because I feel like I'm still in my pajamas but I'm put together still <laughs> so this is a really old dress from uh, Carson Perry but anyways let's jump into the makeup guys I got merch for make life fit there's actually just water inside of it but if you're new here, Make Life Fit is my online personal training business, and we got merch. I don't have like a fancy website, so if you want a mug, this mug, it's $10. And if you want a shirt, it's $15. I'll insert a picture. Just like, it's low-key, like Venmo, we the money, and I'll mail it to you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we got merch. Alright, y'all. Let's start with primer. We are going to start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Here is what it looks like. She's cute. Alright. This stuff a little goes a long way and it's very liquidy. I do have SPF and under eye setting. No, under eye moisturizer. There we go. From Benefit. The one that has like the iron tip and it's like a little pigment to it. Okay, there we go. There you go. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. And then for foundation, this is a little bit light for me right now, but uh, once we finish all the makeup, it'll be fine. But this is the, here's the Wet n Wild um, foundation stick, the photo finish. Mine is in Soft Ivory, and this is what it looks like. This product gets a lot, uh, I'm not going to say hate, but not a lot of people liked it. And I do like it. And when, when using it with the neglected makeup this week, I was very like hard on it. Like maybe I'll see what people don't like about it, but I really do like it. I will say I didn't wear it for a long, long time period this uh, past week using it. But I really don't see any problems with it. We're going with an Eco Tools sponge. Uh, so we're just gonna press it into the skin and I do want to talk to you guys while you know let's get ready for me we got a chat we got a chat so life updates for those of you who are new here on my channel I'm Abby and this is mostly a makeup channel um, we do project pans weekly makeup baskets um, get ready with me that kind of thing I'll sprinkle in some vlogs here and there um, and that pretty much my channel. I was working in education and now I am doing fitness full time both through working at a gym and also through um, starting, running, owning a business. Um, so there, there's a lot happening over here and I've been obviously having to put a lot of time into thinking about social media brands running a business my life <laughs> it's been a lot happening over here okay <laughs> all right we're gonna go in with concealer this is the urban decay naked skin concealer and mine is in light neutral so I when I started my business I everything I had like read leading up to it said to uh, work with or don't be afraid to work with a mentor business mentor and so many people have worked with a mentor so 
So I knew that that was in my path. It was just really a matter of getting to that point of um, being ready to work with one um, and then finding one to work with. So I just hired on a men business mentor to work with and he's going to work with me mostly on uh, marketing and sales but really what he's going to do is take all of my ideas that are like floating up here and we're going to be able to streamline them into one so we're going to work together weekly for three months and then evaluate after that three months like if we need to, would like to continue or if we're in a good spot or whatever um so because of that it's really going to put my shift my time to the, my business and growing my business so it's not going to stop anything as far as this channel it's just going to slow down my posting schedule a little bit all right i'm going to go in with the mac painterly and just prime my eyes with it i like to do all the creams first and then move along i feel like my channel i like it but i put so much time in it for it to never grow like literally it doesn't grow like it's just so stagnant and I and I put so much time in it I've been posting three videos a week on a schedule for the past three months but I've been posting on a schedule for like the past solid year I've been on YouTube for five years and it's like nothing is happening and I'm gonna keep it up as a hobby but I have to shift my time away from it um oh, what are we doing next I think we need to set everything and to do that where is it at we're gonna use this Maybelline fit me Maybelline fit me and fair this is one of the items I'm trying to pan through this month through this month of uh, neglected makeup so I think we're doing we're doing okay we're using it every day so that's a positive so I'm gonna tap it into the lid So here's what I'm thinking for my channel. The weekly makeup baskets are safe. <laughs> we'll start there. Those are safe. Um, and this channel is going to be only makeup and an occasional vlog. I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas on here. I haven't decided if we're going to commit to Vlogmas. It really just depends on, I don't know, like how busy I am, how I'm feeling, all of that. So I have a couple months to decide before making that decision. But if I do decide to do Vlogmas, it will be on this channel. Um, but outside of that, I'm just gonna do makeup on here. And if I, I'm gonna go ahead and launch my Make Life Fit YouTube channel. And that's where I'm gonna do the grocery hauls, the day in my life that are related to my job. And I'm also going to do workout videos on there and um, just kind of separate it because it seems like that is where YouTube's algorithm is at this point where it's like you kind of need to be themed so that your channel is recognized by YouTube and promoted. So I think by dividing it up, it's going to help a little bit um, streamline everything. I don't want, I mean, I don't. I don't want to limit myself, but I really don't see myself being like someone with a million subscribers. Like, I don't know. You never know, right? <laughs> but I also really like, I'm getting powder everywhere. <laughs> but I really like doing YouTube. So I would at least like to be to the point of getting some nice PR and getting maybe a couple sponsorships just to make like a little bit of money off of it to make it worth my time. Um, it's not all about money and I hope it doesn't come across that way, but like I have ads running on my videos. So every four to five months I get a hundred dollars. That's it. I bought my camera. I bought like everything in this room I bought. So it would be nice to like have a little something back for it. <laughs> So, and especially with the shift of a uh, career change, I don't have money right now to spend on makeup. I need to spend it on other things. So it would just be nice if the, you know, I had a little, little kickback here from YouTube. That's all I'm saying. Just a little bit so we can buy some new makeup or have some makeup sent over, you know. That, that's all I'm saying here. 
Um, hopefully it doesn't come across like greedy or anything like that. But so yeah, I'm gonna be posting for sure every week the weekly makeup baskets, and then some weeks that will be all that's up. I kind of have gone back to this place uh, ever so often. I think probably last May. I was posting, um, I think, did I drop down to just one a week or did, was I still doing two or three? I don't remember, but, um, I like to take my sponge and just like press it all in. All right, so powder is on. Let's go on bronzer. This is the Milan. This is the Milani 02 Sunkiss Silky Matte. All right, so we are just going to bronze up the face. It is a little dark for me, okay? But the foundation's a little light, so maybe... We'll find, we'll find some balance, maybe. So that's it as far as a channel update. So you'll for sure get the weekly makeup baskets. And then um, one other video some weeks or every week or no weeks. I don't know. That's it's just a time thing, honestly. But I really love um, posting for you guys. And... I want to keep sharing new makeup. I want to keep sharing neglected makeup. I want to keep sharing uh, no buys and all that. I'm like three months strong from not buying makeup, which is like insane to me. It's like almost rehab, <laughs> makeup rehab <laughs> to not like, it's really crazy because like the first month it was painful. Second month, not as painful. Third month. I still look, honestly, I still look every day, and I'll still, like, make my carts online, like Ulta or Sephora, but when I see, like, that total dollar sign, even if it's just $50, I'm like, I'd rather eat. I'm not. <laughs> like, it's just not, I'm not tempted at this point in time, but not that that might not change in the future. All right, we are going with Laura Geller Charming Pink. This is an oldie. Laura Geller Charming Pink Oldie, but goodie. Look at this gem. Let me open it. Oh, she's cute, y'all. So my makeup brushes, um, not in the clean department, but I've been using them on the same product, so it's like, it's fine. <laughs> all right, I'm curious how you guys are doing. How do you feel about that? I'm sure you all understand. Uh, I asked recently in a makeup basket, does anyone even watch makeup videos anymore? <laughs> And a lot of you were like, yeah, but then also a lot of you were like, no, bro. <laughs> just a few. So I just feel like I personally think, A, the the companies over flooded the, the market and that just overwhelmed us. And I also think they sponsored the YouTubers a little too hardly, strongly, too much. <laughs> That it's like, it just became super overwhelming for everyone, even them. And then with all the drama of the YouTubers, it's like, y'all, you're doing w like way too much. Way too much. Like, my life, your life, all of our lives are so busy that like, we don't have time for people to be so mean to each other. That's like a part of our entertainment. Like, y'all, y'all. Alright, what am I doing? Oh, blush. This is the uh, Ser Serafina by Juvia's Place. This is a pigmented, she's a pigmented one, but it's good. You just have to go in with a light hand. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. I <laughs> stopped talking. That was so cute. Okay. Looking good. One side's a little more pigmented than the other. That's okay. We'll work through it. Mm. Okay. And then I like going through and just kind of blending that out a little bit. And then I really, this wasn't a part of the neglected makeup, but I've really been enjoying it. This is the Artist Couture Summer Haze, and it's a loose highlighter love it and it's not super messy I just take what's on the lid and put it on the tops of my cheeks and it's like she's there okay but it's not like super much a lot I don't know it still feels like low-key natural to wear out and about even though it's it's here <laughs> 
Okay, and then the last thing I want to do for my face is take this Catrice. Here's the Catrice Light Illusion, and this is the yellow matte. And I like just taking this um, ooh, off the lid and just running it under my eyes to brighten it up just a little bit. Clean up just a little bit down here. It's kind of—I use it kind of like a, a finishing powder. Sometimes I'll set my under eyes directly with it, but other times it's just a setting powder. So I think everything looks good. So let's go into eyes. Just blend the rest out. Okay, for eyes, I've been using this palette all month long. It's the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I really love it a lot. Here's what it looks like. So I just kind of mix and match a lot of matte shades and just build it up. I think today since I'm wearing this, I might kind of stick more in like this zone. Okay, we're going in with a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. And first, we are going to, uh, we're going to go like this. Weekender. Riff, and then we'll start working in Hello Ride and Wild Heart, and then we'll probably end with this stranded color, as you can see, I really love um, for the lid. So, starting with Weekender, gonna tap into that. Okay, YouTubers I've been watching are Julia. And Hunter she is a fashion and vlogging channel um, I still watch Casey Holmes Julie Don Olson um, Nicole Gu Guerrero her content's kind of all over the place and I do like her a lot as a person and she's one most of the time I'll watch whatever she posts but lately I just haven't really been interested in her content so I have not been watching it all right, that was Weekender. Now we're going in with Riff. So I've been watching Till Vacuum Do Us Part. She is a vlogging and cleaning channel. She actually just split her channels up. So Vacuum Till Vacuum Do Us Part is her um, cleaning channel. And then Ashley and Chase will be her uh, vlogging channel. And I also watch Love Meg, who is a cleaning channel. You guys know I watch Kristen Casper, who is a vlogging and cleaning channel. Um... Jessie Christine I watch, who is a cleaning and vlogging channel. You see a theme here. <laughs> um, still working with Riff. That, is that who I really, oh, there's this girl named Brooke. She's super young. She's 22, but she's an um, entrepreneur for social media. So she's interesting. She posts really long videos, which are just nice, like, as I'm doing something to have on in the background. Alright, now we're going to go into Hell Ride, which is like that pinkish color, keeping it in the crease. And you can see I was running the color underneath as well, once I've like, have a little left on the brush. Okay, okay, there we go, just adding a little something. Shane Dawson, you know he's got a new series out, so I love watching Shane his fiance Rylan and then Rylan's sister I love watching all their videos it's kind of like one of those things that when Rylan or his sister posts a video I'm like oh it's just not something I'm interested like she spent 24 hours under his in the room under his stairs and in their pool and you know at first you're like that's so stupid like why would I watch that and then like it the video will auto start and then I'm like sucked in. So I love them. They're so funny. Um, and then we're going to go in with break Breakaway to um, blend out the edges so it's not so wild. And I think Shane Dawson and that whole crew is like one of the only YouTubers that like Jared and I um really enjoy watching together he isn't really into all youtube and stuff as far as like him watching it on his own time 
So it's kind of cool that we can find a YouTuber that we like. Um, Jared really likes Shane's conspiracy videos, which he hasn't posted any in a while. But all right, and then on the outer, we're gonna take Wild Heart. Oh yeah, she's coming together. We're time. Okay, we got time. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm okay and then we're without any extra product we're just gonna blend out this part yes yes and then I like to take a little bit of um I think we're gonna do blaze and stranded mixed together and just throw that on the inner corner And that's it for eyes so we're gonna go ahead and do put some gimme brow on the brows put some L'Oreal Lash Paradise on the lashes and spray it down with Catrice illuminating prime and fine this is the dewy glow fixing spray so I will be right back all right so we have the lashes on we have the brows I just did the gimme brow and I oh 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 and the setting spray so the very last thing we're gonna put on lips which we are gonna use the wet and wild chic got real it is a high shine lip stick so we'll add this um we'll just put it over my lip gloss Alright guys, this is the final look. Let's zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Oh, she's cute. Look at the high shine. Okay, how you doing? Summer haze. Okay, okay. It's, you know, it's, um, it's everyday. It's got a little pop of something, something. But not too much or something, some. It's just like enough, you know. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, let me know how you're doing down below in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.